welcome to another edition of the NBA Slate Starter Podcast. I'm Eric, joined with my buddy Ryan as we break down Friday's seven-game NBA DFS slate on DraftKings, FanDuel, and Yahoo, our sponsor, Yahoo. Thank you so much to them. We shall discuss them at length a number of times here. We cover all three sites here, but the story of the day, uh, there's a couple here. One, we're coming to you before this Memphis Golden State game is getting underway, so we have no idea how the tournaments are really going, but I can tell you one thing. If you had Luka Doncic, you're probably not too excited right now. Montrezl Harrell lock button worked out well, and Maxi Kleba has 27.25 at 3,200 on DK in the first, like, 15 minutes of that game. Ryan, how you doing, my dude? Uh, Killian Hayes, uh, 27 and a quarter fantasy points. Uh, Dropkick me. Uh, uh, the blasphemy uh, will not be tolerated of Killian Hayes. I said it was going to work out. Uh, it was a good. I thought he was a solid play on Yahoo, uh, but Aaron Holiday had other plans uh, after he was ruled a starter. Unfortunately, a lot of my Killian Hayes ownership went there. Uh, I was pretty high on Killian Hayes just in general. Uh, I thought there was room for him to outperform uh, that price tag. Shot volume, minutes, and all things put together. But I know uh, you uh, had some Killian Hayes slander earlier in the day, which is. Uh, Wait, hang on. What happened was I was uh, hosting the NBA Deep Dive with Adam Scherer, who won a nice little cool 100K last night on DraftKings. Well done by him. Shout out to our uh, our coworker in that regard. But um, you kind of backed away a little bit. You were like, whoa, 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 whoa. I do you think were, you were waiting to see Killian Hayes to see whether he went off or not. So what I think you did is that you kind of you kind of gave up on your guy. I, I did not. I said he was a good. I was a decent pay down option on Yahoo. If you want dif- different roster construction, you made it sound like I liked him across the board, which is not the case. Okay, never mind. You're a liar, but it's fine. Uh, everybody, hit that like button for us. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you know. And this and all the other, all the other content at Awesome was going live. Ryan, I'm just kidding. You know that. You know that. Look at him. He's people don't know that we're friends in real life. So I think that that's probably what's throwing them off is they think that we've been put to do this podcast together last year and that we're like being forced at, at you know, knife point to be doing it again. I would say that we're doing all right here after one week of basketball. It's going to be the weekend here. We'll come back to you guys Sunday night, Monday morning. But uh, this is the last one for the week. So I think we should just jump right into it. We've got a good seven gamer. You ready to get going, my dude? Let's ride. Let's see Friends, see? Friends. Luka Doncic, $11,000. I'm very upset with him right now. I think 60% of the field is upset with him on DraftKings right now. Uh, that's because he sucks right now. And it's all Maxi Kleba and Jalen Brunson. What a what a ridiculous turn of events. They were down like 20 to the Spurs in the first eight minutes of that game. And then Kleba just decided to be the best basketball player ever. And Jalen Brunson is out of his mind and whatever. I had to stop watching it and turn on football. I was getting so tilted. Russell Westbrook, 9,700. James Harden, 9,600. Good Lord. This guy. I mean, he was like 2% two days ago. And I was like, oh, I have 10%. I feel okay about that. And there was never any hope, never any prayer for him to put up 50 plus fantasy points. He's in his own head. There's no doubt about it. Damian Lillard, 9,300. Uh, De'Aaron Fox, all the way down to 8,400. He ended up salvaging an okay spot, but like this guy hasn't been good either. There's a number of point guards on the top end struggling here. And then there's LaMelo Ball, 8,300. I think he's always viable because we know the ceiling can be there, but only 24 minutes there against Orlando. I don't get what's going on here. Talk to me about the top end of point guard. Yeah, the top end of point guard has Luka. If he burns a lot of people today, I think we just go right back if there's no Porzingis. I know uh, a lot of people have said his rates don't change as much, but it's Luka Doncic. I think at 11K, when you have the upside of uh, putting up 70, 75, you should be having interest in a guy like that. Russ Westbrook, uh, LeBron James questionable against the Cleveland team. I don't think LeBron will play. Uh, and Russ is just going to do Russ things. He's going to find his way with the quadruple double with a turnover, so keep that in mind. $9,700. Uh, don't mind that whatsoever. Hopefully he puts his head in the game uh, and hopefully they don't blow a 20 plus point lead again. Yeah. James Harden's a predicament right now. It's uh he's a tough, uh, t- it's tough to n- uh, know what to do with him. I'm a, I'm a bit in awe. Uh, clearly a hamstring uh, injury is bothering him. Look, I- I'm still, um, it's a great uh, buy low opportunity in James Harden. I mean, it's James Harden. I think uh, I'm I'm fine with chasing it. Yes, if you're playing one lineup in tournaments, yeah, I don't 
I don't look, think that's like a priority to get there. Uh, it's I understand if you want to back away, but in tournaments, I think I'm still going to be uh, looking to chase that. Dame Lillard, ninety three hundred dollars. Yes, has the super ceiling always in him. Darren Fox, like you said, uh, doesn't look as right, but in matchup versus the Pelicans, I like uh, that price tag's appropriate. It's not too cheap. It's not too high. I think it's just fine. And uh, yeah, I think he, he can definitely find a way to 50 fantasy points potentially he finished that year so strong i, I think he's just getting going it'll take some time potentially lamella ball uh i don't know what happened he did not play 30 minutes in that game they closed out with ish smith um yeah i i don't think that's gonna happen all the time i think lamella ball deserves to get a close games over ish smith but ish smith is one of those guys when he's going he, he gets going and the coaches love to ride him so that's the top end uh, i'm just gonna see some uh, guys in the mid in the mid tier a lot of guys are priced appropriately and not that interested in guys like Garland, Hero, or Sexton, or Cole Anthony, 6,500. A little too uh, expensive for me right now, but Devontae Graham, uh, Eric Bledsoe's priced at 5,700. The mid-tier kind of sucks. Jalen Suggs is only 5,100. That's probably a guy. It's kind of a interesting spot. Everyone thought Jalen Suggs was going to go to Toronto. Uh Maybe there's a little uh, chip on his shoulder. He thought he was going to go to Toronto. A lot of people thought he was going to end up in Toronto. So uh, that could be an interesting narrative to buy into at $5,100. Am I crazy to buy into such a thing? No. I mean, I, I think there aren't very many narratives that I'm like, this is something we should be factoring in. But I, I got to be thinking when, you know, it's an NFL player and it's a team that should have drafted you, you might be focused a little bit extra in pregame or you might put a little extra work in that week than you otherwise might have or something. Jalen Suggs, I'm sure, feels some animosity. The nice thing about Jalen Suggs is he's starting. So 5,100 for him, 36 minutes last time out, only 3 for 11, 0 for 5 from 3, though. I expect some positive shooting regression, and he's starting to get involved in the box score. There's a number of games where he's had, you know, 7, 8 assists, rebounds, Actually, just the one against the Knicks, I suppose. But five and four last time out. Uh, so there are some other counting stats that are going for him. So having Jalen Suggs in there, uh, getting 36 months, minutes, even with Gary Harris back there, I think that that is a good sign for him because I, I think they're just kind of hitting the eject button uh, on Gary Harris. But actually, no, he played 23 minutes. I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Never mind. But Jalen Suggs is just fine. Uh, that was my really roundabout way of putting that. Uh, the rest of the point guard position, getting all the way down here. I mean, it, it's going to be Jalen Brunson. I mean, Jalen Brunson is going to be very, very popular. He has over 25 fantasy points right now in the first half uh, at right around 5K. 4,800 for him there, that whole second unit run on a back-to-back -back here. We'll see what Porzingis ends up doing. I mean, he ended up sitting, obviously, today. But it said that they're going to reevaluate his back for Friday. My guess is if they beat the Spurs today, they just sit out Porzingis again. And then you're going to see crazy Kleba, crazy Brunson chalk. What do you think about that? Yeah, Brunson, definitely a solid option to consider. Just looking over things over there in FanDuel, I mean, I'm just hopping over to Luka Doncic, it's 10-7, James Harden, 9-8. Russ Westbrook's still too cheap at 9-4 for no LeBron James. They opted not to raise the Damian Lillard price tag at $8,400. I mean, what's going on? Uh Eighty-four hundred dollars. Oh, Lillard. what's the deal with the price tag? A little yeah. Seinfeld by you. <laughs> uh, yeah, clearly uh, not sure what's happening with that price tag. Darren Fox, Van Vliet, eight eighty-eight thousand and eighty-one hundred. Lamella Ball, seventy-nine hundred. And then there's a string of point guards I'm just not about. Uh, Cole Anthony, Garland, Sexton, Devonta Graham, Tyrese Halliburton, Reggie Jackson. Oh, none of, oh none hold up, hold up. You're not going to like Devonte Graham tomorrow. Sixty-one hundred no. against the Kings. No, I don't think so. No. Whoa. I mean, Adam Scher winning lineup. We're not. Uh, I don't know. I thought Devontae Graham was a pretty good play at fifty seven hundred. I still think against Sacramento sixty one hundred, he's decent enough. You you don't like him at all. No, I just think uh, his price tag might be a little elevated and missing out on some okay. studs. Uh, okay. I think we. Uh, I do think uh, an ingram for leverage works out well in that or even to kill alexander walker at much lower owned ownership than devonta graham uh that's how, how i feel i mean obviously i could be wrong i'm probably gonna be uh, wrong more times than no i was just you were just like i'm not about this range so it was more of me just being like well i like to i mean graham. would you rather do that or 5k at jalen brunson I'd rather do a 5,900 Kyle Lowry who's going to play 35 minutes. I think that might actually be pretty popular. 
Dude, it's 5,900. Think about historical pricing of Kyle Lowry. Obviously, this is a new situation in Miami. You have Tyler Hero coming off the bench, taking away some usage there. You have Jimmy Butler, you have Bam Adebayo, who both like to have the ball in their hands. Bam Adebayo, a pretty phenomenal passing big man. Uh, Jimmy Butler always with the ball in his hands. So like Kyle Lowry, I don't expect him to be the 7,500 8K Kyle Lowry, but 5,900, come on. Yeah, I, <laughs> I was getting down there and I was like, whoa, that is very cheap for Kyle Lowry. Yes, and I think uh, I have no issues going there whatsoever. And I think Jalen Suggs, uh, probably one of the cheaper guys I like at $4,600. I love that too. Uh, anything else from the point guard position? It looks, I mean, we're going to have a lot of these point guards slash shooting guards. So I guess we can kind of point out some of them. Davion Mitchell, 3,900. But those minutes went from 31 and 32 to 19. Uh, that was unfun. Yeah, uh, that's something that's going to fluctuate always with the rookies. And Luke Walton, also, obviously, I just feel like his rotation God. comes out of a hat. So go figure. It's the best way of putting it. Uh, Luka Doncic, $52. Very, very upset with him at the moment. Uh, James Harden, 46. Russell Westbrook, 46. I think Russell Westbrook, kind of crazy to say that he's going to be the most popular of them against Cleveland, but I think he's going to be the most popular of them uh, against Cleveland. And then De'Aaron Fox and Damian Lillard, 41 and 40. They both have ceilings, but they've both been pretty muted, unexpressed this season. I think I'd be looking to go down here. Again, Devontae Graham, $19. I think that that's a great number for him over on Yahoo tomorrow. Jalen Brunson, though, at $11. Oh, he going to be popular. Yeah, I think that's going to be a chalk of all chalk over there. And it's probably going to be good chalk, and it's going to be extremely elevated after a performance that he's already on. So it's tough not to love that $11 price tag for him. Yeah, Graham here makes some more sense at $19. That I can agree with. Uh, spending up a little bit, I mean... It, it, we got to keep on that LeBron news. Russ will become an, a very strong play slash elite play over there. I'm not sure what's ha- uh, Brogdon has already been ruled out. So we might get TJ McConnell in our life again. And uh, when McConnell's on the court, he finds a way to do things. But keep an eye with the Karis LeVert situation. If there's no LeVert yet again, there's going to be some backup uh, backcourt minutes that are just going to be open uh, in the Pacers backcourt that, we're not where there's going to be some uncertainty. And so hopefully we can take advantage of that uncertainty tomorrow. All right. Well, let's jump on over to the shooting guard position top end over on DK Fred Van Vliet, uh, as our friend, Eric McPherson, you know, him better as Emac always likes to save Fred Van elite. Well, he finally decided to do some stuff here. The last two games, 50, 52 and a half. Uh, I don't know if we can expect that kind of usage. I mean, Scotty Barnes has been really good here for this team. OG and Anobi, of course, we're going to talk about here next too. But Fred Van Vliet's still going to be a great play at 8,100. I think that that's still an advantageous tag for him. CG McCollum, 7,900, has been the best player on the Portland Trailblazers so far this year. And I don't think it's remotely close, which is kind of crazy to say out loud. Uh, Damian Lillard, not a very good defender. So, I mean, that's part of it too. Um, But uh, he's been shooting the ball horrendously, had a little bit of positive regression there. But CJ McCollum in that win against Memphis, he looked fantastic again, Uh, didn't end up getting there. So maybe that's going to be a little muted, only 42 and a half, but 7,900. I like that. And then Tim Hardaway Jr. is just at an egregious price tag. Whether or not you get Porzingis in or out, talk to me about the top end of shooting guard. Yeah, the top end of shooting guard, like you said, uh, Fred Van uh, Vliet, uh, $8,100 against his poor Orlando team. I'll have an, I like that quite a bit. Look, CJ McCollum last year was uh, on his way to his first All Star selection, and then he got hurt. He breaks his foot, I believe, for the third time again. Uh, there's strong belief, I think, internally they want McCollum to get that All Star uh, recognition. So, wouldn't shock me if uh, they continue to find a way to get McCollum as the guy who gets going. I still do think Dame Lillard is playing through a uh, abdomen injury, so that's why I think McCollum is going to be. Not not necessarily option 1A, but like pretty much like on par with Dame Lillard to start off the season as Dame kind of recovers from that injury. Uh, spinning down a little bit, Tim Hardaway Jr. is a tournament option if there's no Przingis. I know $6,800 is – that's a lot for Tim Hardaway Jr. And I, I won't I fault you if you don't want to play him, but it's a tournament option to where Hardaway can knock down six to seven, uh, six to seven three-pointers. So that's definitely something to keep in mind. Tyler Hero, $6,600. That's priced up, but he's been performing well all season long. And uh, keep an eye on uh, what those minutes look like. He has been kind of like uh, 
the second guy on offense for them, taking double digit shot attempts every single game. You're going to like that. That's a pretty solid price tag. Well, Barton uh, hasn't had like an explosion game yet, like a 40 plus fantasy points, but consistently playing 30 plus minutes. So that's pretty solid. Uh, another guy to keep an eye on is in the situation is uh, Eric Bledsoe. Also uh, a disappointing game against Cleveland, but uh, first couple games, he was great. And I think he that's going to be the Clipper role for him this year. Just like doing a lot, uh, a lot of things that everyone expected him to do in Milwaukee. It just never came on par. Uh, didn't really have to do it in New Orleans, but that's kind of how things stand right now over there on the shooting guard spot. And uh, no one really else cheap except Bruce Brown, $3,800, is going to play 30-plus minutes. Steve Nash came back to his senses and started him. So uh, that's really in the cheap end. All right. And then shooting guard on FanDuel, Luka Doncic, 10-7, Paul George, 10-1, James Harden, 9,800. Russell Westbrook, you can play at shooting guard because what planet are we on? 9,400. Jimmy Butler, 9,200. A lot of options to pay up for there. I'm going to try not to let recency bias get me and go back to Luca there. But Paul George 10-1 against Portland, too, seems like an advantageous spot. Him and Damian Lillard have some beef going back to that deep, deep bomb that Lillard hit. Had the, the meme where he just goes, I, I don't even know how to do it. It's just something like that. That, that was terrible. I apologize to everybody involved. Hopefully you're listening to us on any of the podcast networks. If you listen to Spotify, Apple uh, Podcasts, grab us grab us there because then you don't have to see me do stupid stuff on YouTube. Uh, but we love that too. Tim Hardaway Jr. Um, all the way down there at 5K. I mean, that's, this is kind of the range where we're really going to be looking at guys. You have TJ McConnell, 57. You had brought that up before. Tim Hardaway Jr. and Jalen Brunson next to each other, 5,105 K. Franz Wagner, 4,900. But Jalen Suggs, 4,600. That's really a nice spot for him. Yeah, you nailed it. There's not really much I can uh, counteract with that. I mean, uh, in the Indiana situation, uh, if there's no Levert, if there is no, um, uh, obviously no Brogdon, uh, Jeremy Lamb would be the other guy to touch on. Uh, shooting guard small fort all the way down at $3,700 against his Brooklyn team. But I have nothing else to say. You nailed all the good ones. Oh, well, I took them away because, again, you are better at this than me. Anyway, CJ McCollum, $33 over on uh, Yahoo. Colin Sexton, $25. I mean, that Cleveland team just put a beat down on the Clippers. Colin Sexton had a big part of that, 26-7, one in with three stocks, uh, three steals specifically, actually. Um, that's really kind of an interesting deal to to be looking at for, for Colin Sexton at $25. Buddy Heald. We haven't even we haven't even had a discussion about Buddy Peeled this entire season. That's how irrelevant he is. Well, he decided to try to come back into your life here today. Uh, again, it's been so long since we talked about this dude. Twenty six points, five rebounds, two steals. I don't know if we can trust the minutes, but I mean, we do know the guy can be a three point marksman for whatever it's worth. I'll admit that to you. Do you want to play any Buddy Heald tomorrow? Uh, I would have played Buddy Heald if he was traded to the Lakers, but no, uh, I, I I don't feel too uh, confident in it. The minutes there, uh, Luke Walton's kind of, I think they're just trying to just. Uh, oh, so it's Luke Walton's fault. It's not Buddy Heald's fault. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think he, I think he's a borderline starter in most teams, and I think he'll get traded to a team and he'll start start there. He's a good three point shooter in this day in the. NBA. I know he is. I know he is. Guys like Landry Shaman are getting paid twelve mil a year. I mean, God, Buddy Heald deserves more than Luke that. Kennard sixteen mil a year. Well, Luke Kennard's not even a three point shooter. I mean, like, but, I mean, that's kind of what he's been this year. You yeah, this year. Him. Yeah, but. Like guys like Landry Shamit, who are like back end players, getting that's that true, money, which is crazy. Sure. But uh, going to back to Yahoo, uh, if there's no LeBron and uh, no LeBron again, I'm Malik Monk, it was only 12 bucks, and I think he didn't, uh, he was fine, fine in terms of, but he wasn't ex uh, outstanding. Where like people are like, ah, I don't want to go there. I think, I think we should be looking to go back at that $12 price tag over there. Jeremy Lamb is $10 as well, so. And Duarte, if there's uh, no Brogdon, I think Duarte uh, can have a bounce back game for sure. All right, Duarte, uh, have fun with that. I'm looking at anything else here. Uh, what are we even doing here? Yeah, $19. That's fine. That's fine. Reggie Bullock, I'd never want to see your name ever again on a roster. God, did you fall for that trap today? Did you play any of, uh, did you join me with this garbage, garbage outing from Reggie Bullock? I played some in the night slate, but uh, a lot of my guard spots were preferred to guys uh, in Memphis and uh, Luka Doncic and stuff. Oh, you I mean have good, good players. Yeah. 
but I, I, I do think like that that is late swapping. Um, it makes sense to late swap under Reggie Bullock. You can have a game he hits four or five threes and yeah. really sets your lineup apart. And if the rest of your lineup looks good, it could definitely pan out. Because like not many lineups, not many lineups will probably be having Montrez and both uh, Reggie Bullock and both have a solid day and and not not that you need an explosion game from Luca and Steph, but you could find a way to fit those both of those guys in with that. So all right, well let's jump over to small forward on the top end here. Kevin Durant ten three, Paul George ten k, LeBron James more than likely out, but he's sitting at ninety nine hundred. He's questionable, so just have that on your radar. Big part of the slate tomorrow, just making sure he's out of there. Jimmy Butler eighty seven hundred, Brandon Ingram eighty seven. My dude against Sacramento, uh, just consistently you know, putting up 40 plus, but it's hard to get to him at that number. Harrison Barnes way too overpriced. Everybody, you know, called me out saying that he came after me and I'm like, dude, he was 7,500 and he only, he didn't even put up 40. I don't think that that was going to hurt me on that slate, but that was very, very mean. Uh, You know, maybe don't do that again, everybody. How about these Charlotte guys, Miles Bridges, Gordon Hayward, Uh, these two guys, I mean, Hayward ended up putting up a, a nice game here. Miles Bridges, playing the best basketball of his life right now, uh, taking over a big workload. I mean, you want to talk about maybe some reasons the Lamella ball hasn't had a ceiling. It's not just minutes. It's not just Ish Smith. It's the emergence of Miles Bridges is like a, a dude. So talk to me about small forward. Uh, looking at small forward, obviously up top, Kevin Durant, Paul George, uh, both have ceilings. Uh, we, and there's no need to explain that. Kevin Durant has been the guy. He looks fine, unlike James Harden. The minutes are in the high 30s, so 10-3 price tag if you want to go to him. Yeah, I'm all for it. Uh, Brandon Ingram, $8,700 against Sacramento. Uh, that's priced appropriately for Ingram. Him and Butler, the same price. It's uh, You're going to get Ingram at a lot lower ownership than Butler, and Ingram has small forward, power forward eligibility, so definitely an option to consider. Michael Porter Jr., I'll be chasing that yet again, uh, down to $6,500, uh, I think. He's going to have a game, a, good, a really good one at some point. Uh, 18 shot attempts last game out. If there's no Nikola Jokic, I mean, uh, Jokic did leave that game with an injury. And uh, I think that's uh, how uh, Michael Porter is going to get that price tag up, uh, taking up that Nikola Jokic uh, usage. Uh, the same goes for Will Barton. So both of those guys, if no Jokic, can definitely work out for you. Spending a little bit down over there on DraftKings. Uh, Franz Wagner continues to produce at a I know nothing outstanding, but has been paying off salary as his salary has gone up. So uh, he's doing his thing. But no one, uh, Nasir Little did get the start for Norm Powell last time. Uh, played 27 minutes in that blowout. Uh, there could be low 30s minutes if the game stays close. But Bruce Brown, yet again, shooting guard small forward, have the touch on him and Jeremy Lamb. Both guys under 4K that stand out to me the way things stand about 20 hours before uh, lock. So keep that in mind. Yeah, I don't really know what else to add. I mean, I'm looking down at the bottom end. You can always take shots on any of these Clippers ancillary options. Terrence Mann is 4,600. Luke Kennard's 3,900. Bruce Brown's 3,800. If he starts again here, played 35 minutes, which was a boatload of minutes here. Wasn't extremely productive, 26.25. But at 3,800, you take that. And you probably run with that. I think that that makes some sense. Reggie Bullock, I'm not going to talk about him at 3,500 in the event he starts again. Um, I'm tilted to no end. I'm looking down here at the bottom end. Not nearly as interesting, but Gary Trent Jr., I expected 5K to garner some ownership again. Hard to find, you know, a lot of 5K dudes that are going to play 36 minutes routinely, and that's what you're going to get out of him against an Orlando team that is bad, 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 bad. They are very bad. So uh, that's all I have. Anything else for you on the bottom end of small forward? No, I think we're good to go on to FanDuel. Cool. And then the top end there, Kevin Durant, Paul George, LeBron James, Jimmy Butler, Brandon Ingram, all kind of the same guys. Brandon Ingram, 8,200, a lot more advantageous. Miles Bridges, 8K, less advantageous. Harrison Barnes, 7,800, no thanks. OG Ananobi, 7,200. Can we expect him to just go for 50 in the first half every single night? Uh, with OG? I mean, That's he's, all he a, does. he's a great stocks guy. I, I, I thought... Um, He'd be the guy to target with no Pascal Siakam and not Scotty Barnes. Scotty Barnes has been a stud, though. So, uh, OG, yeah, I like that price tag, as crazy as that sounds. I think he's going to continue to produce with no Siakam. Uh, touching on KD and P- PG, we know their thing. 
Uh, they're going to produce nonstop. Paul George had a disappointing game uh, against the Cavs last time. I expect him to bounce back. I think Paul George, uh, if the Clippers continue to win, is a sneaky MVP candidate this year. So pretty high on Paul George, uh, the way things stand. Miles Bridges has been balling. Uh, I don't think this is sustainable. He was a stud at Michigan State his freshman year, uh, as gross as that sounds. But yeah, Miles Bridges has been playing amazing the last four games. And uh, he's earned every bit of that 8K price tag. It's going to be unknown just because no one has seen Miles Bridges at 8K before. Uh, There you go. But Michael Porter, 6,800. Probably one of my favorite plays on the slate if there's no Jokic. I don't think that's really an argument. Uh, I think him and Barton uh, will definitely stand out. I think they're going to make sure to take a bunch of shots. And Tim Hardaway Jr., uh, I know I don't know how he's doing right now, but I can't imagine that great. I think if there's no Porzingis, uh, that game's going to be fun to target with Luka and Hardaway. Uh, just a lot of guys who uh, kind of burned you, and you just go back to them in a great matchup uh, with Denver. So I like my chances there. But spending a little bit down, Terrence Mann, no Marcus Morris. They've already ruled him out. Uh, Terrence Mann or Batum. Uh, maybe he was Higgins Zag. Terrence Mann was disappointing last time out. I'm, I'd be willing to go back. Look, he played 39 minutes at game one. Uh, I think his minutes should be in the low 30s. Uh, he's a good enough player. They can him a nice contract. I don't mind that man price tag if he gets minutes. And we've already talked about guys like uh, Jeremy Lamb yet again. I, I think he's a solid play if uh, no Levert for sure. Agreed. Agreed with all of these points. I'm going to round out Yahoo on the top end here. Kevin Durant, 5,200 is hard to get to, but uh, I know Greg Ehrenberg read off the deal where uh, top four fantasy point producers and Kevin Durant's one of them. So it makes sense on this slate where if you want to pay up for some ceilings and you lose Jokic, you lose uh, James uh, LeBron James, you have Kevin Durant, 52, Luka Doncic, 52. I, I definitely will prefer Luka which just sucks to say, considering he's just annihilating me here today. But Kevin Durant, um, $52 there. I do expect James Harden at some point to start being more James Harden-like and reverting back to the mean. So, And and Kevin Durant still, you know, that's just a huge tag for anybody there. Uh, Going to the rest of this position on Yahoo, uh, Michael Porter Jr., $26. Gordon Hayward, $26. Like both of those numbers. You're getting down here a little bit further. It, it really falls off a cliff. There might be a guy like a, a $10 Kent Bazemore that you can take some shots on. I, th- I think that, you know, the, the minutes are there uh, enough with LeBron James out, um, you know, 20 or 31 and 28 that we've seen here the last two times out, but nothing that's super exciting to go down and pay for. I mean, that mid range of, of Porter Jr. And Hayward, I got a feeling you're going to probably like that too. Yeah, I completely, uh, Tough not to love Porter Jr. here. Spending down over there on Yahoo. I mean, uh, Justin Holiday. if you think he gets extra minutes, which I think he could definitely get some extra minutes, sprinkles his way with no Brogdon in the rotation with him being hurt. Gordon Hayward's only 26. I like that price tag. Hayward was solid last time out. But at the same price tag at Porter Jr., I, I, it's tough for me not to look at Porter Jr. and be like, he's a staple across the board if there's no Jokic. And – He's on a terrible play, even if Jokic plays. And I think they're just going to have to be cautious with Jokic. Uh, he's, Jokic has had quite the workload. And uh, it's not not necessarily going to be a loss season for this Nuggets team uh, with no Murray. But it's going to be tough for them to compete deep into the playoffs without Jamal Murray there. So I expect the, the training staff to be cautious with Jokic. Jokic has been very durable as he's gotten the condition, uh, his conditioning up over uh, the past year and a half, two years. So... So that's why I uh, kind of have some conviction with uh, Michael Porter Jr. tomorrow. All righty. We're going to do that. Uh, we're going to definitely have some conviction and another and another. There we go. And another thing I've done way too many shows today. And another thing that I have conviction about. Boom. New Yahoo users. Take advantage of this promotion because I have no idea why you wouldn't get one free month of Osmo Plus Platinum with your first time deposits. Ten dollars or more. That's the magic number. Put $10 or more into your account. Enter any of these paid contests. The NFL contest, I cannot say it enough, is the best one you can play in the industry. $20 entry fee, 25% management fee, negative, negative 25% management fee. They have a 200K overlay. They're putting money into your pocket to go play that event. So you should go play it. Um, I said event as if this is the World Series of Poker. I have way too many poker friends that are playing in that damn thing. So uh, that's where my head's at there. But 
I'm looking at this promotion, and that is how you get one free month of Awesome Plus Platinum completely free to you. That's every sport behind the paywall, NFL, NHL, NBA, MMA, golf, uh, soccer we have projections for. I'm telling you, you won't find a better deal than this. This is the best promotion we've ever ran. Glad to be partnered up with Yahoo for it. Take advantage of this now. I don't know why you wouldn't if you're a new user. You not only get to play at the best site that you can possibly play for your bankroll, but you also get the opportunity to get behind the paywall completely free for doing it. So take advantage, stop guessing, start winning, join Yosimo, and join Yahoo at the same time. Great one-two punch. Oh, hello. You ready? We're going to Power Forward Top End. Kevin Durant, 10,300. LeBron James, 9,900. Questionable. Anthony Davis, probable 9,500. Demonis Sabonis, 9,400. Yeah, the price tag is starting to drop. We said that it would drop. Also, why did he only attempt four field goals in 34 minutes? The world may never know. Talk to me about the top end of power forward. Yeah, Sabonis, no Brockton. Gotta love that. I mean, uh, Sabonis can definitely uh, facilitate on his own. Uh, $9,400 against his Brooklyn team? A little too cheap, I think. Anthony Davis, 9-5 with no LeBron James versus Cleveland? Too cheap. Uh, <laughs> it's It's tough. Not to love uh, potentially Anthony Davis without LeBron James. Uh, you don't need to give me any more reasons to be over the field. Yeah, he was disappointing against this OKC team. Uh, look, he missed out on double-double. No steals or block. Uh, he won steal. No blocks for him. It just uh, was not the greatest Lakers performance. Now he's probable against his Cavs team. I'll be all about it. Uh, definitely have some interest in uh, Anthony Davis. Spending a little bit down. OG Ananobi only $6,800. Scotty Barnes, 61 uh, Wendell Carter, 59, was very solid uh, last time out. I like that his minutes were above 30. I like that price tag yet again against this Raptors team. I have a ton of interest in Wendell Carter. Uh, spending a little bit down. No Jokic. Aaron Gordon might show flashes of flashes of his Orlando, Orlando self as he uh, found his way to double-digit shot attempts the last two times out. 9 of 13, not sustainable, but I can definitely see him taking uh, at least mid-team shot attempts if there is no Nikola Jokic. So the Denver team is someone to tar- uh, a team to target for sure. And outside of that, uh, going down a little bit lower, no one really uh, stands out on this DraftKings thing, barring any injury. Avoid the McDaniels. On this uh, DraftKings situ- thing? Uh, oh, this little site that I've you know done pretty well on. I was just scrolling down. It's not as good uh, as Yahoo, but still continue. Yeah, I just don't see anyone else on DK that I have a tremendous amount of interest in. How about you? No. Uh, Carmelo Anthony has a ceiling. If you get no LeBron James, 4,800, that thing's come down a tiny bit. And what I really like, what I, I love as far as tournaments go, is he hasn't really done anything the last two outings. I mean, 22.25 at 4,900 isn't going to impress anybody. So him at 4,800... 30 plus minutes. I think we can get behind it against Cleveland. I I don't love it. Again, that's just like pure tournaments. Somebody that I would want to sprinkle in if he's not popular. If he's popular, you simply go elsewhere. Nicholas Batum played 32 minutes. We saw those minutes were going to probably spike sooner rather than later. Well, they did in a losing effort against Cleveland. Six for 14, three for nine from three, 16 points, uh, actual points there, 27.5 on DK. He's still 4K which is why I bring that up guy who's going to play 30 plus minutes. who can fill up a box score doing a number of things, not just shooting, but Maxi Kleba 3,300 coming off of today. I'm expecting that to be by far the most popular play on the bottom end. How about you? I completely agree. Maxi Kleber absolutely destroyed uh, his price tag. So I definitely have no issues there, but keep in mind, I mean, I'm going to just emphasize the Denver situation. If there's no Jokic, uh, if LeBron, no AD, that's a fine press tag, even over there in FanDuel. But even I think it's tough to move away from Sabonis, $9,300 on FanDuel. So definitely keep that in mind. Uh, Porter Jr., yet again. Mo Bamba has been solid. 6500 seems priced appropriately. Wendell Carter, uh, solid yet again there. I don't know what's going on with Miles Turner's minutes. I am very confused on what they're doing with him the last three games. Uh, 16, 14, and 22 for Miles Turner. He's a much better player than this, and I don't know what's going on. Uh, maybe the, maybe it says a time in Indiana has uh, ran up. I mean, I, I would love to see Miles Turner on a different team, and uh, he just 
I think it's just like in a situation where you just can't be in the front court with Sabonis. They just can't coexist together. Uh, I, I, I think that's a good segue to jump over to FanDuel because he's 5,700 over there. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you look at the box score and you obviously see the 43 minute 63 point explosion in the second game of the season against Washington. But since then, 16 minutes, 14 minutes, 22 minutes is what you're referring to. And he was really, really good at the fir- in the first half of that game. And then he just got basically no run towards the end there. Three blocks continued to do Miles Turner things defensively. I think he's a very good defensive center. Um, but so, so weird. You're able to play him at power forward at 5,700. Do you, God, I think he, he, he was getting some ownership even on a 10 game slate. I don't know if I can necessarily do it. I, I don't trust this situation at all. Do you? Yeah, it's really tough for me to go there. Um, I don't know. I just think, yeah, he could pay off that price tag. So I'm going to be curious to see what ends up happening. The guy I did forget to uh, touch on on DraftKings was uh, with P.J. Washington just ruled out. Jalen McDaniels uh, played quite a bit of minutes. He's cheap. He's $3,500. I don't know how to feel about McDaniels. Uh, If he's going to be very popular, I'd be looking elsewhere. But he's produced the last two two times out. So 22 minutes is not all that exciting for the Charlotte team. But I just feel like they can do a lot of things in the front court uh, without Washington, that could lead to minutes, Sam. But I just don't feel how that certain with his fantasy production. He's a little, he's too expensive on Fanduel. But going back to Turner, yeah, tournament play. If you're building a lot of lineups and you land on Turner, yeah, I won't fault you. But no way he's coming in my first like ten lineups. It's just too too risky, I think, with that situation. I want to see consistently thirty plus minutes from him. Uh, he started. He was strong last year before he got injured, um, but really difficult to see what's going on there so you're able to play michael porter jr 6800 over at power forward that makes a lot of sense evan mobley i think it's a little bit expensive but it's his uh back-to-back la homecoming games i guess a a usc not grad but i mean he was unbelievable at usc scotty barnes 6k still probably doable over on the old fanduel.com so we can probably fire up a little bit of that precious a chew is up to 5100 here so that's probably Priced out of consideration uh, at this point for me. Dwight Powell, probably don't want to be going nuts there again, but if you get Chris Stops, Porzingis out once more, sure he'll be starting. I don't know what that box score is going to finish as, but I don't really care. He's not never my favorite guy to get to. Jalen McDaniels, 4,500 on FanDuel. That's a no from me, dog. And Maxi Kleba, 3,900, will be very popular over there once again. Uh, anything else for you at Power Forward there? No, I think you nailed it across the board. Uh... Keep an eye on the center situation in Denver. It could be Jamichael Green who starts that center. Uh, that could definitely happen. And uh, it wouldn't shock me if they uh, dust off the ball bowl. So, uh, <laughs> bowl bowl. I was about to bring him out. I was about to bring him up. There were so many random times last season where bowl bowl starting. And I think you and I probably fell hook, line, and sinker for that more than the average human. Because if you've seen oh, yeah. bowl bowl play, oh, baby, it's fun. Yeah, I played him a lot in summer league. Uh yeah, if he's going to start, if we get some clarification from Mike Malone, yeah, I'll be there. I'll be there. You can meet me in the Bull Bull streets. Uh, no questions asked. I don't want to, but I probably will. Power forward on Yahoo. Damana Sabonis, $47. Well, Anthony Davis, $48 up there on top. No LeBron James, $48. Anthony Davis, smash. Miles Bridge is $30 there. That's a pretty advantageous price tag, comparably with a $10 floor on Yahoo. And then you get up to 30 there and, and you know, having a $17, $18 savings off of Davis and Sabonis. That could, I could, I could probably get down with a little bit of that. Aaron Gordon, $15 really sticks out. What else sticks out to you over on Yahoo? Yeah. Checking out other things from the sponsor Yahoo, Aaron Gordon, $15. Oh man. Ah, that's definitely sticks out. Maybe we're getting a little too excited with Jokic not playing, but just like uh, giving you guys that insight. Uh, Mobley. $28 versus Lakers team is okay. Uh, it's going to be a tough matchup if he's going to deal with Anthony Davis all day. A lot of player comparisons thought of Evan Mobley's upside ceiling would be Anthony Davis. So it's a little past versus the uh, uh, future situation. So Mobley is okay. Nothing that too exciting. Power forward kind of sucks on our sponsor um, tomorrow. Nothing too exciting. I'll have interest in guys like Kleba, Jamichael Green, if those guys are – in a position to perform well, like if there's no Jokic and no, I mean, Porzingis is a, uh, the Porzingis situation, 
but Anthony Davis and Sabonis are excellent slash elite spend up options over there. And uh, with the utility position, you could roster both of them. So definitely could happen. I'm just going to clarify. Do not play bowl bowl. If he's not starting, probably don't play bowl bowl. If he is starting, but we're going to, he's $10 on Yahoo as well. We go on to the center position to round it out. Nikola Jokic on the top end of DraftKings, $10,700. Anthony Davis is eligible there. The next true center is a dude. Remember when I said you're going to have JVL be over 9K? Well, he's 8,500 on DraftKings. That's finally getting to be about appropriate. But it's so weird because against Sacramento, I still have interest. How about yourself? Yeah, uh, he's been a monster. Joe Ball, the first time, I guess, ever in his career. People forget this guy was, was he at the top three or top five pick? I forget what number or what pick he went when he was with the Raptors. But he's been talented his whole time. No coach just gave him the burn. Uh, mid to high 30s minutes is a ton of minutes for a guy like Joe Val. Look at these numbers are Dude, insane. I mean, he has a he has over a twenty percent usage rate alongside you know some other guys that uh, he's putting up Brandon Moses Ingram. Brown numbers like uh, what Moses Brown did in the middle of the year last year. So. He's the highest DraftKings points per minute producer through four games. One point two five DraftKings points per minute right now. J Val Brandon Ingram one one point one six. That's all you need to know. Yeah, I mean, you can definitely have to have some interest for the, in uh, that situation. Anthony Davis, 9-5. Sabonis, 9-4. We touched on those guys. Nurkic down to 7K. Uh, tournament option there. Hasn't shown that up uh, super upside. Game got blown out last time. Mason Plumlee uh, playing low 30s minutes. Uh, Plumlee's been producing strong uh, fantasy-wise. So I'll have some interest there. Uh, no Washington, I believe. So Sean Holmes, $5,800 seems a little too cheap. I like that price tag. Uh, a decent amount. Ivica Zubac priced up at 5K. Seems priced appropriately. I think uh, he just didn't have an amazing game that we could take advantage of fantasy wise. But uh, it's uh, Ivica Zubac. If he's going to need to be out there for that Nurkic matchup, he could definitely find a way to get there. I'm not sure how Dwight Powell is doing. Uh, $3,600. If we need some sort of value to jam in some extra studs. And if he doesn't do that great today, uh, I think Powell is. It's a kind of a thin uh, tournament option. You're going to be missing out on some amazing centers, but if you value is value, uh, sometimes it can change things up and help you uh, change up that roster construction and give you upside. So it's really about it. And Maxi Kleba, $3,300. We've uh, mentioned him uh, throughout the night. So yep. definitely an option there. Definitely. Powell 13.75 with three minutes left in the third quarter. I mean, he's going to just kind of be whatever there. Um, it's not going to be anything special, but it's, it's what you're expecting out of Dwight Powell. It's, it's saying, Hey, I'm going to have this, this salary relief and I'm going to utilize it that way. So going over to FanDuel, Hey, Ryan, Jonas Valanciunas is still 8,200 over there. He's still super underpriced again until he gets over nine K. I don't care. Uh, FanDuel. There's no way that you can have J Val cheaper than DraftKings has him. It's just not a thing you can do. Yeah, it's a thing they can do, but we're going to have to play a ton of him now. For sure, for sure. $8,200, strong, strong price point. Look, uh, Sabonis is also center eligible there, but yeah, Joe Val has earned, uh, he's $1,000 too cheap at this point. So the way he's been playing, if you want to spend down a little bit, guys like Plumlee and Wendell Carter, uh, avoid the Miles Turner situation. Uh, that's really about it. Center, uh, when you only have to play one over there on FanDuel, it's going to be a little tough. I know multi-position algebra, you can get some over there in power for but the center only guys uh, in Valanchunas uh, really stands out. Holmes is too expensive in my opinion. Nurkic is okay, has an upside within him. I think Mason Plumley would be the other guy at 6,200, but center's not that strong. Uh, no, you so it's a weak, weak position. Yeah. I keep saying g Val's name, and I'm going to do it again here on Yahoo. $34 for him is a bad tag. It's going to be something I click on a ton. I want all of it. Bam out of bio should not be $2 more than him. It just shouldn't be, but uh, Bam, he's probably he's going to play against Charlotte here too. I, I love Bam as a player, but j Val is 1.25 fantasy points per minute. I mean, let's just fire up all of it. Nurkic, $29. J-Val should be more than $5 more expensive than a guy who has not the not eclipsed the 29-minute mark the entire season. Just throwing that out there as well. 
Um, Mason Plumley, $21 is probably the next guy who gets appealing for me. Maybe Rashawn Holmes, $25. That guy's been pretty decent. So that might be an advantageous tag. I think center looks a little bit better over on Yahoo than it does on the other two sites. Yeah, I would agree. Uh, the center over there on Yahoo looks uh, much better. I mean, Joe, Joe Val, Nurkic, if you want to spend down to Plumley, Zubach would be the other guys. Um, Powell is 10 bucks there if he uh, if you want to buy that. Dwight Howard's been someone who's been getting a few extra minutes. Can spike an upside game if he finds a way to 20-plus minutes, but that's a, it's a pretty a thin play on uh, the size of this slate, especially on Yahoo with the opportunity cost on missing out on rostering guys like Valanchunas uh, and uh, Bam Adebayo if all things uh, – if he's going to go. So, yeah, it's center overall, usually a loaded position. We don't have the guys of like Carol Anthony Towns on the slate, missing out on Embiid. So that's – and the potential Jokic injury makes it really thin really fast. So – that's uh, kind of why center kind of sucks. Uh, we usually love center, but center kind of sucks tomorrow. Yeah, it kind of sucks. But you know what? It's the position that we must roster. We told you people to roster. Just roster j Okay, uh, Ryan, that's it for this week. This is our first full week of the NBA Slate Starter Podcast. Yay, balloons and stuff. Uh, Ryan, any final words for the people? Yeah, I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. Oh, uh, no, we'll be back tomorrow night. No. no, we're not. Oh, we won't be. Yeah. What are you talking yeah. about? It's Thursday night. That means this, this comes out for Friday. I'm not coming back Friday night. I'm going to be busy. Yeah, so hopes everyone... It sounded sketchy. It's not going to be sketchy. It's, uh, I'm going out with coworkers. That's crazy to say. We've got a lot of LA folk here. It's lovely. Yeah, everyone, uh, good luck. And good luck in uh, those who are playing uh, uh, NFL this weekend. And uh, hope to see you guys up on top. He's Ryan. He's one of the best in the world. I'm Eric. I'm one of the best on my block for sure. Uh, Definitely smashing cash games on my block. We'll see you later.